Well, Hurricane Dorian is not only impacting people in Florida, it's also leaving people right here in Detroit stranded. Flights both in and out of the Sunshine State are being canceled today. The 7 Action News reporter Ali Hotsey is live inside Detroit Metro Airport. And Ali, how many flights are being canceled there? Well, right now I am counting four flights that were supposed to leave here headed to Florida that were canceled and six flights that were supposed to come here to the airport that are canceled. Take a look right here. This is Delta. I'm seeing two canceled here. One of them is West Palm Beach. That's because the West Palm Beach Airport has been closed altogether today and the Fort Lauderdale Airport is closing today at noon. The new the Orlando International Airport was planning on closing, but has decided to remain open. Delta Spirit Frontier and Frontier Airlines are just a few airlines having to cancel flights. Seven Action News spoke to one man over the phone stranded in Fort Lauderdale. He says he and his family are not going to be able to find a flight home, and they're going to have to wait out the storm there. We got up to a point where actually we started boarding, going down the corridor to board the plane. Then at that point, they just decided to stop and started sending people back. We were saying we were going, and now they said we're not canceled. So we we live through Sandy. We're from Long Island, so we live through that. So we feel like we're going to go. So the main thing here this morning, this Labor Day, if you do planning on flying, especially to Florida, make sure you check your flight regularly every few hours or so before you head to the airport. Allie Hoxie, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Allie. And of course, depending on what Dorian does, being right here in Metro Detroit may not be a bad option after all. All right, well, we have continuing coverage of Hurricane Dorian as it makes its way through the Bahamas, approaching Florida. Stay with 7 Action News. We'll stay on top of the storm's every move on air and online at WXYZ.com and on social media.